Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today we are going to play this Lava Hound deck and this deck is really nice guys and this deck has been getting a really nice rating in Royal API. So let's directly jump into the match. So I'm playing this in Grand Challenge. So let's see how good this deck is. So uh, first of all I must tell you guys I'm not a Lava Hound player and you all know that I play 2.6 a lot but I think we can get some uh, really nice matchups and uh, I think every deck have its archetype so let's try to understand this and I'm um, playing quite aggressively as I know that uh, this is a really cheap deck so I will just uh, void this Tesla and that was a really nice one and I will just uh, try to pressure him using all of my supporting units. And I think our Inferno will get the lock and that was a really nice rocket guys I must tell you that was well played by him and I think our Lava Pups will get some damage done and uh, that was uh, really nice I will just cycle my zap on top of his uh, princess tower and uh, now I think we can again start a push with our Lava Hound and I think this is Expo deck guys so he's waiting for that so now let's place our guards guys and uh, I fear that he will get the expo lock. So yeah he will get that damage. So I will use my void spell. That's okay. And he definitely have the tesla right now. So that was well played on his part. He waited for me to use my void and then he placed his tesla. So now I can just arrows these two but uh, I think that will be a lot of elixir so I will just wait guys I will not use it so that will not be the best arrows so we are in 2x guys and I think he will try to again expo at the bridge so what I will do is that this time I will use my guards like this and I will place my bomber at the bridge I think we will get some damage done okay let's place our void and uh, I think his uh, Expo will take out this tower. I think we messed up this really hard. <laughs> okay, let's place our uh, Skelly Drag and let's try to win this. I think we can still come back. Let's use the Void and uh, he don't have anything for I think the pups and let's use our Zap. Okay, look at the left side guys. Uh, I was not expecting that. I must tell you guys, I'm not a Lava Hound player and <laughs> I don't know how I took out that tower, but <laughs> that's uh, legit actually. Okay, let's uh, just uh, try to win this guys now, as we are in a really great advantage and Expo is not really good when uh, they lose a tower. So it's the bad thing about the Expo. Okay, let's uh, just use our void on top of his expo and let's try to get back to another lava hound. Let's place it like this and I think he's back to his tesla. Yeah, that's uh, it. Okay, I will just uh, cycle my zap. I think that will be really nice. Okay, let's use our zap over here and uh, we will get a really nice damage guys. And you can see we are slowly and steadily getting his tower down. Let's use our Void over here and the Void will take out his Expo I think. That's really great. And now we can cycle our arrows guys. Let's use our arrows and uh, let's uh, get back to the arrows and let's finish off this game guys. I think we can now just uh, zap and uh, Void this tower. I think Void will be enough for this. Okay let's uh, place our Skelly Drag and let's arrows this to make sure that we can win this one now i will use my void and that's it guys ggs and let's move on to the next one so we are in the match guys and we have a lava hound now starting hand so i will just place it like this uh, i think it's because that uh, i'm a 2.6 player so i will i always tend to be more aggressive with every deck i think that's the case i will use my void I will clear the way for the Lava Hound and I think now we can go in with our Inferno and uh, let's wait guys. I think we should use our Zap on 
bats and then I should go in with our gods to stop this from taking out our princess tower so I think we did manage to stop that so that's really great guys and that's a really nice start for us and I think it's a uh, giant tech so let's uh, try to put down our defensive unit on the same lane where the giant will come so we can just chill now guys we have to defend for two minutes so let's place our lava hound so that lava hound can engage with all the supporting units and now i will place my bomber like this from the back and inferno is there for the giant so that's gonna be really nice and we have void for the evolution wizard so i think we can just uh, defend this really nicely okay let's place our void for the wizard and you can see void is really good against evolution wizard guys and he still have to do something for the inferno as his dagger duchess is reloading and there was bomber as well so we are getting a lot of value guys a lot and still inferno did manage to get almost 200 hp from him so that's really great so we are about to hit 2x guys and it's already gg so i will place my lava hound again from the back and i will try to create a push let's see what he will do i think he gave up maybe okay so he is not giving up uh, too soon guys so i will place my bomber from the back and i will also have my uh, skelly drag going in and i think skelly drag will be taken out by the wizard but that's okay he had to use that on defense now he can't have a good offensive push let's use our zap guys that was a really nice void guys i must tell you but uh, we still can defend this uh, joint using our arrows and bomber let's try to do it and we have inferno ready for another giant which is coming from the left so it's uh, quite easy guys and it's a really fast cycle deck i think 3.5 is considerably uh, a faster cycle deck guys i must tell you and let's use our void on top of his wizard and that's gonna take out the wizard so that's really great guys and it's ggs and let's move on to the next one So we are in the match guys and uh, let's uh, start with Bomber from the back. We don't have Lava Hound in the first hand. So let's see what this guy is running. So I will cycle my Bomber from the back. So he placed his Witch. So this can be again a Giant. Maybe. Let's see. Nice Bomber value for us. It will almost took out his uh, Witch. But you can see Skellies will distract my skelly drag and his witch will get a nice value that's really great guys and i will place my inferno from here and i will try to create a lava hound push on the opposite lane and i think that's not the very best play which we did but i think we will took out his uh, left side tower and uh, let's get ready with the void on top of his uh, electro drag so what i will do is that i will try to take out his electro drag only so let's use our void on top of that so that's uh, really great we did manage to take out his left side tower but we are in trouble over here so let's place our guards i think guards will be able to stop his golem from take out our princess tower so that's really great guys so he did give up so he have to invest elixir on uh, taking out this tower guys so that's quite unfortunate for him so let's place our skelly drag to stop his witch from getting any damage let's do it guys and i think we can place our lava hound at the center this will be really aggressive guys but uh, i think we can get some value let's go for it uh, that was not the very best play guys and his inferno will not inferno guys sorry it's the electro drag will get a lot of value Okay, so let's uh, wait guys. Let's place our bomb over here. His golem will get the tower this time. So I will place my inferno like this and let's try to just uh, figure out now what we can do. I think we can just uh, create a really big push. Let's arrows over here. Nice arrows for us. And uh, let's just try to get the counter push ready for him. So he will get the tower and I think now we can just... Uh, 
place our inferno but uh, he have the evil bats so what we can do is that we can just cycle our void on top of his uh, elixir collector and uh, let's see what we can do he placed his golem at the center guys and this can be really annoying and he is again getting ready with all the supporting units but that's not gonna work guys uh, okay so let's uh, try to create a push guys let's uh, try to create a push from the back let's put down our lava hound and i think he's back to his uh, electro drag and that's gonna get a lot of value okay what happened oh, my game is reloading guys I, I don't know what happened come on man my game just crashed let's uh, put down zap guys i thought we lost but we are still in the game okay let's go in with arrows nice arrows for us pups will get some value and Inferno will, I think, get the connection, but he was really fast with his bats. Okay, so we uh, did uh, just uh, waste our 7 elixir guys over there. Let's go in with Zap. Now let's get ready with our defense guys. As I know, he will place his golem at the center. And this is, I think, going to be a really difficult one, guys. Let's just hope he will not get a lot of damage. Or else we are dead guys okay let's use our zap nice zap for us and uh, let's try to get back in this game guys i think it's getting <laughs> tough i can't tell but i think we can win guys now we have a really nice push going in let's see let's see what we can do let's place our guards over here and let's uh, just avoid this one and i think now we have a really big push guys I think we have it and uh, he will choke this one maybe let's hope for it let's hope for it guys uh, we have a lot of things over there and uh, our bomber is also getting the connection we did manage to corner him guys and I think it's the last seconds so let's just uh, cycle our arrows zap I think that's it that's it oh wow guys that was really close how did we manage to pull this off? GG's guys, let's move on to the next one. So we are in the match guys and uh, we are up against JR22 so good luck to him and uh, this guy have Monk and I hate Monk guys. Not the worst card as lots of uh, players are saying that uh, Monk is the really bad and monk is like uh, good for nothing but it's not like that guys if you play monk really nicely and if you have the skill to use it then monk can do a lot of good things for you so i think that's the point you must know how to play every card then that will be beneficial for you but lots of players are not using monk and you can see he did manage to do a really nice defense i think our inferno will get the connection let's hope for it so the fisherman at last that was really close he was about to lose the tower uh, but look at that guys wow inferno is like so good against dagger duchess i must tell you guys i was not expecting that damage i was not expecting that but Inferno is really crazy guys. I think this is going to be a two tower game. Let's see if it is. Then let's place our Inferno drag and he missed my Inferno with his void. But I think he was trying to target the Lava Hound. But that's okay. Uh, that nice arrows. I must admit that guys. That was a really nice arrows. And I think he will go in with his uh, wizard maybe. Let's see. Okay, so he is allowing my inferno to connect. Oh, he had the zap, guys. He had zap, but why didn't he use it on the first connection? I think he didn't knew that he had zap. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, get ready with our inferno. And I know he will come in with his giant anytime soon. So let's get ready with that also. So he used his void. Not the very best one. But uh, let me just show you how to use it. Let's use it now. But unfortunately we did miss 
Okay, uh, Zap was really nice and he had to use his arrows. I'm ready with another Lava Hound and that was a really nice placement as Lava Hound is in front of the Inferno and we have the Evo Bomber that is working for us. That's really great and you can see we did manage to take out his tower and I'm again ready for the Giant. I know he will place it at the bridge and you can see Inferno will be ready for that and that's GG's guys and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such contents guys and see you in the next video. Bye bye, take care and thanks for watching.